Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going off the last video, so I'm going straight into it. Um, that's why the other one didn't have an ending. So what I was getting at was these. These you get from the Quadmaster or the um, Black Market or the armor you can get from yourself, which I'll show you how. These boost your gun ups. This boosts your gun's ratings by itself without attachments and gives you um, extra perks with them as you tell. Their sensor damage causes target to show on minimap. Readiness reload faster when mag is empty. Stacks with um, dexterity means you reload even faster with dexterity. This gun is the burst gun, and I don't, I'm not going to go much in that because I don't like it. This gun's a fully automatic gun. It is a um, I have this for it, and I don't. It's nothing much to say about it. Um, the SMGs, as you can tell, this one's the one I was playing with earlier. You, you already know much about it. This is a very fast gun. It's pretty much the P90 combined with the V spur a little bit. Um, this is the Karma 45, which uh, has dual magazines. You can tell right there. Provide faster reload, increase ammo capacity. Pretty nice gun. This one has two modes: hold triangle when you get into assault mode, which um, shoots faster, I believe. Oh, that's the one I shoot slower. I'll show, I can show you in another video. Um, it shoots faster or slower than when you hit triangle. And then the HVR, which I'm going to get to a full game. It's a pretty nice gun, I guess. I haven't used it. I haven't used to these. The Type 2, it's an energy gun. Shoots pretty nice. Hold triangle for a split the rifle into um, you know, two um, pistol loads. And then you get this. I, this looks this looks like an AK on steroids, if you ask me. I love it a lot. It looks like a generic energy gun though the LMGs you get they're all rifled I believe yeah I'm believing these are all bullets I don't think any of these are laser pretty sure these are all bullets I, I, I don't know I believe there are I can't tell this one's a laser or not I'm pretty sure yeah ballistic y yeah snipers Okay, you get this one, the one I was equiscoping with, this one was the fully automatic sniper mode. And I want y'all to think what this reminds you of, okay? Think back in NW2, what this one reminds you of. Okay, the window maker. And you get this one, this is like an M1 grand on steroids. Shotgun, you get the Reaver, which is a semi-automatic ballistic one with a cyclic drum magazine for quick trigger response. It means you faster your trigger finger is, faster you're shooting. The Banshee, no, it's not as good as the Banshee on Black Ops 3. It does not shoot as long or near as good like I did in my videos. This one's actually like a really big advanced the advanced warfare shotgun. I don't remember what it's called. I think it's called the Tac-21 or something like that. This shoots a very sonic energy waves in front of you that one then you get a fully energized shotgun which is like the AA-12 of NW-3 then the rack 9 which is like this Baz-12 or I think so it's called um it's a pretty nice gun if you ask me 12 gauge this would be me classic days now I told you I saved classic for last so I'm not gonna go to those quite yet and then you got score streaks Squirt UAV, RCXD, or HCXD, and then you got the Scarab, all the same, drone package, care package, counter UAV, Vulture, like a Talon, Trinity Rocket, I don't really know the comparison of the Hellstorm, but then you got this, this looks like a Hellstorm as well, so I don't know, then you got Lightning Strike comparison, which is called the Scorchers, then you got the Shock Sentry, which is like the Hardened Sentry, Warden, which is pretty much a flying helicopter that shoots above you, for you, which is like the Wrath, Advanced UAV, you know what that would be, be the gum, the uh, I don't know what it's called now, but you know you can see them on your mini maps and what direction they're facing. Um, this one I have response to missiles with rapid launching capacities. This one shoots the missiles out its butt really fastly and multiply. Then you got this one, which is a remote anti-personal weapon with heavy arrangements. I don't know what we really compare this one to. And then you got the GI unit, which is also known as the RC8. Very amazing looking thing. In the okay, now the quartermaster. This is the black market guy now. You still got your rare, you got your common. Now the armory. The keys you get, you know, like the crypto keys and the armory, okay? You see on the top there where it shows my Orin and or or Orion Initiative. Godly I cannot talk. Orion Initiative, level 7, above you have my rank, keys, and that little gear looking thing. 1,313 of those. You go to the prototype lab. There's where all these come in. The best one is the epic. It's only why you would have epic above legendary, but they do. So, the higher it is, the better it would make your gun and the more cool camos you get with it. Sadly, the, this one just turns black. It looks like it gets bigger. But I can't tell you though. Um, so, 
see. That one looks gold now. That one don't get a camo much. Oh, that one changes totally. My bad. That one changes its style totally. And this one changes its style a lot too. But it also gets a cool camo on it. Slip machine guns. You can tell this one turns a lot. This one turns a lot too. Not really. This one just camo turns my bad. This is another one. Um, go to here. This one doesn't change much from its actual thing. And neither does this one. This one just gets more cooler. Sniper rifles, now they change quite a bit as you can tell in that one and that one. This one just takes the kickstand off, doesn't change much. This one does. Shotgun wise, they don't change much besides this one. This one removes quite a bit and gets cool camo. This one doesn't change much. Neither does this one. The handguns, they don't change much at all as well. Um, so, that's all I gotta show you with that one. This one, I really, I can't really tell you what it, what this one is. I think. I can't really tell you at all actually. I think it's the higher level and your um on your thing I tell level twelve and that one level seven this one you get stuff at like yeah, like unlock at that level gun you get that, unlock at that level gun you get that kind of thing. So then you got your rare ones and your common ones of course. Then you get your barracks, you cannot make your own anymore, you got your classified calling cards, which is like this. You know, same as usual. Go down. Hey, I like that. Like side. Then you go to emblem. You got a lot of different emblems. Me and my friend were over here. And he said I have to have port shot or port cube. My bad. So I picked that one. Clan tag. You know, you make a clan and everything. I made one. Don't know where it happened to it though. So there we go. And then I guess it's about time I show you the best of it. The classics. I want you before I do this thing real quick, what do you expect to be in the classics? What do you expect? How old do you want them to be? How, 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 what do you want the guns to be? What guns do you want to be brought back in the classics? Let me show you. In three, two, one. Oh, did you get that quick glance? Oh, almost there. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. You're quicker than that. Come on. Okay, look, look, look. Let me give you a hint. One is from Advanced Dwarf. No, it's not from Advanced Dwarf. It's from Ghost. Yeah, Call of Duty Ghost, War at War, Modern Warfare 2, and I can't remember the other ones. So, you ready? Set. Oh, you, oh all right. This one is from Ghost. You can't remember. It, it was burst back in Ghost, but it is the Ulsa. I the thing it was in Ghost. I'm pretty sure it was in Ghost. If it's not correct, me in the comments. Then you got this one, the Maktov back in Modern Warfare 3 and 2. Um. But in Battlefield 3, it's called the UMP, I believe. The TF-141. The one that started it all. The one that started quick scoping. Then you got the S-Range, which is pretty much a Spaz-12. And then you got the M1 back. Amazing, huh? Now time for the pistols. Give me one sec, guys. Are you a white man? I kind of Sorry guys about that, I had to answer some questions for my mom and stuff, like I said I live with my parents still, you know, I'm, too, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not like 30 something years old, so sorry about that if you hear them. Um, so, I forgot to show you launchers, you know, same launcher, same as usual, grenade launcher, lock-on launcher, and then just a shoot-around launcher. Melee, got your combat knife, and the classic. How many of y'all remember a certain handgun? Fully automatic, Modern Warfare 2. And I think it was used in Modern Warfare 3, I think. Let me think. No, it wasn't. It was not used in Modern Warfare 3. It was used in Modern Warfare 2. So, let me give you a second to think about it. I give you a hint. It was a Glock, a G, G something, a G and a number. You want to guess it? Three, two, one. The G18, or now known as the Hornet, is now back. It's not available to the full game comes out, but it's fully on Mac and it's back and it is amazing again. As you can tell, it just looks bad to the bone. My friend, he came over. He's like, "Is that extended Mac?" I was like, "No." He said. What it happened feels extended mag. I said it'll go from that to gorilla size pretty much. I had a good laugh at it. 
So and you get this one, which is a hellstorm, and then I forgot to show you the Kindle. Pretty much the main and the three round burst. I think that's all I got to show you guys for today. Pretty sure I went through most of everything. Friends list. Fun match. I forgot to show you here. Team death match. There we go. Now domination, gun game, and mixed game mode. So those are in right now. So thank you guys for stopping by watching today's video. Make sure you watch the first one before this one. Because I have to do editing on it in a minute. To see what I can do to make it make more sense. So I hope you guys have a blessed day. And don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Comment for any games that you should do in the Comment for any games or suggestions you guys do in the future. Check out the channel for any games you know we've done in the past. And we always, no matter how many times I say, I hope you have a blessed day. And we thank all of you for coming back and subscribing, okay? I'm not telling you to subscribe. I'm thanking you for it. Because we got on, okay? We ha we, 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 we were really surprised. We didn't expect to hit um, 16 subscribers. And we're glad we did. And I'm trying to find out another challenge to do to appreciate it because I can never get the one I posted to upload. I went through on computer and phone and stuff. It never would upload. So I'm going to have to go through it again and just make another one. Thank you guys though for coming by and watching today's video. It's a big pleasure. So hope you have a blessed day. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.